Hello, on behalf of ARM TV, I'd like to welcome you to another informative content on the AR10 series. ARM TV is where you get informed, educated, and entertained with amazing content from across Africa. In today's video, we will be exploring tourism in the West region of Cameroon. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on the notification so you do not miss any of our upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, we love you. Tell us your favorite touristic sites on the list and also tell us in the comment section your African region of interest you will want us to cover its tourism and we will make that happen. These top 10 touristic sites in the west region of Cameroon are classified according to their number of visitors per year, online rating, content and touristic facilities, location and accessibility, security, revenue it contributes to the nation and the value it upholds in its area of locality. Number 10. Mount Bapit Mount Bapit is a Cameroonian volcano that rises to about 2,000 meters above sea level in the western area between Fumbot and Fumban. It has a popular tourist attraction in the form of a crater lake. Mount Bapit is supposed to have spewed black lava upon the plains around it in the past. Number 9. Monal Lake Monal Lake is a crater lake in Cameroon's western region. The lake is located on the 1,400 km long Cameroon line with Mount Cameroon, surviving as the channel's only active volcano. Number 8. Lake Balong Located at the center of Balong Bateau, it is a natural lake with a natural environment, surrounded by flora of many species. Calm and quiet environment to think out with fresh cool breeze in the atmosphere. A special place for a special day out to clench a special feeling. Number 7. Nchang Municipal Lake An attractive lake where the Nautic Water Base is located is crossed by the Pleasure Bridge and is surrounded by lush flora, including banana trees, mango trees, avocados and a variety of other plants. In a peaceful and fresh setting, public seats have been placed up for the walkers that come here. It is a man-made reservoir lake created in 1960 in the district of Chang on an area of about 40 hectares. Number 6. Chiefdom of Banjun The Banjun Chiefdom is a multi-hectare territory in Bamileke land where the chief superior, monarch of the Banjun people, his wives and a few little children live. Aside from the royal woodland, the chiefdom has hearts, a court of royal square, and more or less imposing buildings that make up the palace. This is a characteristic of a Bamileke chiefdom's layout. The palace of the King Banjun is a historic structure in the Pet Banjun city. It is the capital of the Banjun kingdom, and it is here that the Banjun people's chief superior dwells. The king's residence, the royal palace, was erected in the 20th century. The Palace Museum is a relatively new structure that chronicles the tale of the dynasty of monarchs. The whole chiefdom is one of the Bamileke two countries' most visited museums. Number 5. Mech Waterfall It is a 20 meters tall waterfall located in Bafusam, West Region's regional capital. Found on the crossroad between Chang and Bamenda, it is a place of sacrifices where curses are removed and lament the dead on the ground. At the entrance, there is salt, coins, palm oil and meals used for rituals. It is a fascination with nature and tradition combined together in one place. Today, the place has become a site of purification. The guide explains that the populations there perform ritual ceremonies that watch away bad spells. Number 4. Banjun Station It was inaugurated in 2008. The Banjun Station is a multi-purpose gathering place with a library, a projection room, 15 rooms for international artists, and two places for art collections. International modern art meets Banjun's local tradition and affects its people thanks to Banjun Station. The exhibition spaces and artistic production are interconnected because of Tugo's experience in Dusseldorf, where he met Viennese auctionism and the Fluxus group. Number 3. The Fumban Conference Hall This is a historic landmark of Cameroon's history, known to host the plebiscite on the 11th of February 1961, 
which decisions and conclusions led to the reunification of British Southern Cameroon and La Republique du Cameroon to form the Federal Republic of Cameroon, present day the Republic of Cameroon. The Fumban Conference Hall is located in the city center of Fumban. It's a site worth a stop going down into Cameroon's history of reunification. Number two, Chang Museum of Civilization. The Museum of Civilization gives an interesting interview of the history of Cameroon and its people. Explanations are in French and English. The museum includes six spaces, History and Foundations of Cameroon, South Cameroon, Forest People, The Coast, The People of the Sea, North Cameroon, The sudano sahelian People, West Cameroon, The Grassfield People, The Route de Chefferi Program Focus on the Chiefdoms. Number 1. Fumban Palace and Museum The Bamoun Palace is a historic building in the city of Fumban, capital of the Noon Department. It is a seat of the Bamoun Kingdom where the Sultan resides. It has a fascinating and well-organized museum containing previous Sultans, possessions and great historical insight into the region. Fumban City is one of Cameroon's major attractions and an important center of traditional African art. Some of the important things found in the palace include a multitude of arms, musical instruments, statues, jewelry, marks and colorful bead cover, thrones carved in the shape of men who sat on them and sit on power for the Bamoun people. Pay the West region of Cameroon a visit and enjoy tourism in these 10 touristic sites amongst others. We hope you enjoyed this content. If yes, give us a thumbs up, share with friends and drop your opinion about these tourist sites in the comment section. Not forgetting your favorite topics you want us to cover and we will make that happen. Please subscribe and turn on the notification if you are new here so you do not miss any of our upcoming videos. Till next time, bye.